Testament Church of God. Come on, let me hear you praise him. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all the praise. Glory to God. I believe that we are very, very blessed this evening to have this move of God called Passion and Purity. This is an awesome move of God among the youth. How many of you know that the devil has a move on our young people? Well, Passion and Purity is an awesome move of God for the youth in this nation and globally. And I bless the Lord for the Normans who are the visionaries of this move. Come on, let's put our hands together for them. <laughs> Hallelujah. They are a couple that I've known for many, many years. Almost 30 years we have known each other and in ministry, co-laboring in the vineyard. And I'm blessed by how they have just embraced this vision that the Lord has given them. They have run with it and it has reaped much fruit. Come on, let's give God thanks. <laughs> Glory to God. If, uh, if there were a passion and purity when I was a teenager, I would have been saved. Anybody, anybody is there with me? If there was a move of God among the youth in my time, if a passion and purity came to my high school or my church as a young person, I know that I know that I know that I would have, been, I, I would have accepted Jesus Christ and I would have been saved. You know why I know that? Because this move of God among the youth in this nation meets the youth where the youth is. We can't be ministering above where they are. All these skits, all these dances, and what have you, is meeting them where they are. And God is doing that by the power of the Holy Ghost. He's bringing the gospel of Jesus Christ through this move to loose the souls of the young into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. To bring the shackles. There are so many stories now of, of you know, suicide among our youth. Um, all kinds of things. Um, murdering people. Early sex at 12 years old, 13, 14. Just not focused on anything but the God of this world whose name is Satan. So I thank God for this move. I know you have already been blessed. And I want to encourage all of us with our young people to live a life before them and continue to let them see the gospel alive and well. And I can't stop thanking God for this move, passion and purity. And I'm just excited to be here this evening because it's always a blessing, highly anointed, and the Holy Ghost moves. So put your hands together for yourselves for being here tonight. God bless you.